Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now yesterday, I put together a video to help you guys get ready for the dot below and outline a few things that you should do before tomorrow to ensure you're absolutely ready. So if you haven't already seen that, then make sure you go and check it out. But in today's video, I'm going to continue the get ready theme and talk about the raid, Crota's End. First up, let's start with the entry requirements. You do not need to be level 30 to participate in Crota's End Raid. However, you will need a level 30 fireteam leader in order to get in. So just like how the recent Iron Banner only lets sub-20s in if they had a 20 plus fireteam leader, the raid adopts the same mechanic. So provided one of your party members are level 30, then you're good to go. Do bear in mind though that while we have learned from the Vault of Glass, Bungie have learned from us. So I fully expect Crota's End to be more challenging than the Vault. So you do well to be either level 29 or 30. Now, moving on. Know your damage types. This may seem obvious, but I'm going to cover it anyway. The Vault of Glass was all about the Vex, and for the most part, that's a whole lot of Void. And more importantly, the Praetorians had Void Shields, which means in order to take them down effectively, you wanted a Void weapon to deal with a shield. So, Crota's End is all about the Hive. Hive enemies have one of two types of shield, Arc and Solar. Knights have Arc Shields, Wizards have Solar Shields. So if you want to really be ready, then make sure you're carrying at least one of each type of weapon. If you want some suggestions, then for solar damage, the Icebreaker is a given. If you have this, you won't need anything else. But if you're still looking for an alternative, the Raid Scout Rifle, Vision of Confluence, deals solar damage, as does the Raid Rocket Launcher, Hez and Vengeance. Then for arc damage, again using Raid weapons, the Fatebringer is a powerful ally. Or you have the likes of Hardlight. I don't really like that weapon, but it's still an arc damage auto rifle, or alternatively you've got Patience and Time, an arc damage sniper rifle. The list goes on. The main thing is, whether it's Raid, Vanguard, Crucible or Exotic, Make sure you're carrying solar weapons and arc weapons. Also, if you don't head into the raid straight away, then you might even snag yourself this, Murmur, the new rare fusion rifle that upgrades into a legendary. The unique thing about this weapon, other than the fact that you can upgrade it, is that it can switch between both solar and arc damage, the first of its kind. So that too goes lengths to reinforce just what awaits you inside. Next up, know your enemy. You fought the hive before, you know what you're up against, but just as a quick recap, here's what will await you. Thrall. They're fast, melee fighters, a pain up close, but easy to take down. Avoid getting swarmed by these at all costs. Curse Thrall. Same as the above, only not quite as fast. And they explode. Avoid explosions, they're bad for you. Acolytes. These are your bog standard grunts. We'll no doubt see a lot of these. Pretty easy to deal with. Standard headshots will do the job. Knights. These are your Praetorians for want of a better comparison. They have arc shields and come in two forms, ranged and close quarters. Both of them pack a punch, so this is where those damage types will really pay off. Wizards. You know these are going to be the new hobgoblins in the raid, but these guys have solar shields and a shit ton of projectile wizardry coming your way. So quite simply, two words. Icebreaker. And ogres. Well, these guys are pretty easy. They pack a punch, but shoot them and they go down. Job done. Next up, be on the lookout. If you've done the Vault of Glass, you'll know Bungie like to hide things, namely chests. All the good shit comes from chests, so explore while you're in there. Venture off the beaten track, climb rocks, look for gaps, and also, it's dark down there. Turn your brightness up, it often reveals gaps you wouldn't normally see. And lastly, something to note. While we have very little knowledge of the inner workings of the raid, one thing we have seen is this image. Take note of the on-screen debuff, the weight of darkness. Now Bungie haven't disclosed what this is or how you'll get it, but if you picture the hive, you picture swarms of enemies, namely thralls running at you at speed. Pair that with a debuff that slows you down and you have a pretty nasty combination. So while this may not be that valuable out of context, just be on the lookout. Anytime you get this debuff, anytime you see it, the thrill will likely not be far behind. And that is it. Short of hitting level 30 by tomorrow morning, there's not much more you can do to be prepared for the raid. So hopefully these tips have helped you, and if they did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button and show your support, it does really help us out, and obviously don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. Drop a comment down below and let me know what weapons you're going to be taking into the raid with you tomorrow. And thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out. Thank you